Daily Fantasy is fantasy football without the commitment. Any player, any week, and if they burn you, you can just ditch them, get rid of them in the next week. Who needs commitment? It's 2021. Be a free soul. So what is Daily Fantasy? It's different than a regular fantasy football league where you draft a team and you manage that team the entire year. You're competing in single day events. You get a budget and you can pick your players, which is freeing because you can have any players you want. In your regular fantasy league, if you don't have Christian McCaffrey, you don't have Christian McCaffrey. But in Daily Fantasy, if you want Christian McCaffrey and Saquon Barkley, you can do that. You know, you might have to settle with like Andy Dalton as your quarterback because Saquon and Christian McCaffrey are going to cost you a pretty penny. This guy stinks! But the point is you're free. You can build whatever team you want. If you want to do a DFS contest, there's a lot of options. You can do one for all the games on Sundays and pick players from every game on Sunday. You could pick players from just the 1 p.m. Eastern games. You could even pick players from just one game if you just want to do Sunday Night Football. And if your season-long fantasy football matchup is done by Monday night, you can just do DFS for Monday night and get some action out of the game. There's a few good strategies for Daily Fantasy, the most classic of which is just stars and scrubs. You want to mix really strong, expensive players like the Christian McCaffreys of the world with scrubs. I don't know if the scrubs would like to be called that, but, you know, guys who aren't as, as popular. And you're hoping that if the star players perform as expected and the scrub guys pop, then you can win. So that works really well in like a 50-50 contest where, you know, if there's 10 lineups, the top five scoring lineups, they win money. There's also a much larger contests called tournaments where you compete with hundreds or even thousands of other people. There's so many other people that you have to get a little more creative with your lineup. One really popular strategy is called stacking, where you pick a lot of players from the same team. So if you think Dak Prescott for the Cowboys is going to have a big day, it makes a lot of sense to stack your lineup with other Cowboys. You also want Dallas receiver Amari Cooper, CeeDee Lamb, maybe even tight end Blake Jarwin. And you're hoping that you can take advantage of the fact that the Cowboys have a big day and you get all the big performers from that offense. Another counterintuitive one, though, is that actually it makes sense to stack running backs and defenses. So if you actually think the Cowboys might shut someone out, it makes sense that Ezekiel Elliott goes with the Cowboys defense because that way, if they're going to run a lot in the second half, the defense keeps them scoring low. That generally makes sense. So you want quarterbacks and pass catchers, running backs and defenses. But in the biggest tournaments with the biggest payouts, it's not enough to just do stacking or just do stars and scrubs. So you kind of need to be a little contrarian. It's not novel enough to pick Dak Prescott and Amari Cooper or to stack Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey to win because if there's thousands of people in, then probably dozens of other people did that too. So you need to mix the obvious players like the Mahomes and Kelsey's with the non-obvious players like, oh, Greg Ward for the Eagles had two touchdowns today. And if you can mix and match the right amount of obvious and non-obvious players, you can have a massive payday. And that's kind of what's fun about Daily Fantasy is it's not just picking how the stars are going to do. You're also kind of trying to pick your gut feeling or just the feeling of the insane spreadsheet you made. But honestly, gut feelings are a lot more fun. Daily Fantasy is fun because you can have any player you want. And then the next week, you can have completely different players that you want. And you don't really get that experience in season-long fantasy football. And if you keep these three strategies in mind, stars and scrubs, stacking, and trusting your gut to be a little contrarian, you can have a lot of fun and make a little money. Be a free soul.